Kishore Biani is a lesson for entrepreneurs. Founder of the Future Group, he is also the man behind the retail businesses Bantaloon and Big Bazaar. Born into a middle class business family in Rajasthan, Biani's grandfather moved to Mumbai for business. In Mumbai, he used to sell dhotis and sarees. Kishore, who was not so bright in academics, completed his BCom from the HR College, Mumbai. Back then, his only interest was business. He did not mind sitting for hours with the shop owners just to observe the customers. This practice helped him understand the psyche of the consumers. Later, Kishore, along with his father and siblings, worked at a fabric business called Bunsi Silks Mills. He felt that the company's business approach was wrong. It was then he noticed that some of his friends used stonewashed fabric trousers. This sparked a business idea in his mind and inspired him to find a local manufacturer to produce fabric. He sold them to selected textile shops in the city. In 1983, he started his own business to produce and sell fashionable fabric to textile manufacturers. He started creating his own brands and stepped into the menswear production business in 1987. For the manufacture of trousers for men, he started Manswear Private Limited. In Hindi, trousers are called Patloon. Improvising it, he started the brand retail Pantaloon. By 1994, the Pantaloon franchisee business became worth Rs 9 million. After Pantaloon, he started the Future Group. His secret to success was his dedication and hard work. In 2001, he started Big Bazaar. Brands such as Factory, Hometown, Food Bazaar, Central, E-Zone, and fashion joined the Future Group through Big Bazaar. Within the next six years, the Future Group added 100 department stores under the Big Bazaar brand. Statistics say that about one-fourth of the population visits Big Bazaar stores each year. By 2012, Bantaloon became present in 35 cities through 65 stores and 21 factory outlet stores. But by that time, Future Group had a debt of Rs 8,000 crores. Of that, Retail business constituted Rs 6,000 crores. To cover the debt, Kishore sold the majority of his shares in Pantaloon Retail to Aditya Birla Group for Rs 1,600 crores. In 2016, he decided to revamp the Future Group as a consumer goods company and introduced 27 labels. His aim was to grow the food and the FMCG business to a value of Rs 20,000 crores by 2021. However, he needed more capital to survive in a market that was already flooded with Reliance Retail and e-commerce firms. This increased his debts further. Later in 2019, Kishore admitted that his decision to diversify business was a wrong foot forward. He was also disappointed about losing his online foothold. The crisis worsened during the COVID period. Finally. Future Group signed a deal of Rs 24,713 crores with Reliance Retail. However, as Amazon challenged it, Kishore got entangled in a legal battle with Amazon. Eventually, the deal got cancelled, leaving Kishore at a crossroads. This describes the journey of the brave entrepreneur Kishore Biani. For more such amazing news on entrepreneurship, do watch and subscribe to charmland.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. See you till the next segment.